So good morning and welcome to Jack's Bean Studio Live 51, uh, working on sailing simulator game. Good morning, Chucks. Good morning. Good morning, guys. What are you going to do today? Uh, as usual, working on this boat, I'm <laughs> just gonna... <laughs> I really want to finish the catamaran, but Steph really insisted that I should finish this one. So I'm just gonna add more details on this. Uh, yeah, on the helm. You have, a, you have your reference I need picture? To, yeah, so, only one. So people can see what you're you trying to do, <laughs> what you're trying to add to the, to the steering uh, wheel. Yeah, I'm just gonna add this. Oops. This does this thing on the helm. Okay. Stop. These All right. buttons. So, right. So those buttons and and the the handles. You see the handles at the bottom. Where for? You see the there are those things. I think there are. Ah, handles. you mean this one? Yeah, I think there are handles similar to the F fifty instead of the. I would up, say they're I probably would, down. I only see one. There should be two, right? Yeah, I think there is another one on the other side. You know, yeah, uh -huh. down there. Yeah. Right. So it's all symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I really think the the dome, <laughs> how you call it? I I really think the dome is way more. Put the model again. Is way smaller than the one you did. In the middle. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. So I think you see it's made it it's made of, of two elements, no? So maybe the first element put put the reference again. The claxon. <laughs> <Right. laughs> you know what a claxon is? No. It's the thing on the car to do bam bam. <laughs> when you, you know, when some, so you, 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 you see how small it is compared yeah. to the one you did. Yeah. So there is the first part that I think is all right. And then the second part is way, way smaller. And then it's got something like a nipple. All right. Yes, yes. I see right? it now. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you want to do that as well. Okay. Let me see the, the 3D again. And le uh, remain there. You mean this one in the middle? For yeah, the <laughs> yeah. It looks, it looks like it, it is like. <laughs> okay. Maybe that does a, does a different sound. So if you do like this, it does. Bah, bah. If you do this, like. Timmy. My my plan for today is to add. Well, I already have um, some code to do the rudder differential, but I want to make it um, easier to control, easier to see the value um, on the HUD which is interesting. I also want to make it uh, because right now I have uh, the way it works internally is that it says if I want to add rather differential one side on the other side, I want to try to see if I can make this automatic where because it's only going to go one way, right? We only want the rather differential on the side. So what is the rudder differential? So the entire problem with, with the catamaran and in, with the catamaran in, in, in particular is that we have the wind. So if we are going like this, wind is coming this way somehow and the wind is hitting the sail and it's trying to capsize the catamaran, right? So it's always a balance between uh, how much force the catamaran can take before it starts to capsize because the more force the catamaran can take, uh, the more forward force will be generated and we will, we will go faster. So what, what it is is that the rudders at the back also have small um, uh, foils. So the idea is that we want to uh, have the side that will tend to get out from the water. Uh, we want to have that uh, try to push the boat into the water. So the, it will be creating downforce. So we will try to keep the boat down. And uh, the way this is done is by 
having radar differential. There is no, I don't think there is ever any reason to have the, the, the windward side of the boat pushing up, right? That I don't think, I don't think it's a thing. <laughs> well, pushing up more than the other side, right? So at, at the very least, they will be pushing in the same direction. the boat so my idea is to actually um, have an option where I say I, how much rather differential I want and then the boat will figure out automatically if wind is coming from this side it will put it on this side if wind is coming from this side it will put it on that side and hopefully this will not create problems when we switch side uh, during the attack or, or or a jibe but if this all works we might start to get to get situations similar to uh, what we see sometimes in sail gp and in the old america's cup where you can imagine that if you have if you have the your your rudder on this side pushing the boat down um Putting that rudder out of the water is a big deal. It's a big problem because as soon as that rudder ventilates, you, you lose all that downforce that it was creating. And so in theory, you should get a, a, a very violent capsize uh, moment for the boat. So that, that will be interesting to see if we can actually replicate that. I think I'm fucked, right? No, I have to follow. I have to follow the same, right, I have to follow the same stuff, right, I have to follow the same, so this is the connection, this is going to be foil, this is going to be foil, but hold on, I think I cannot do this, so I have to do this. Right, and this is, so one is going to be minus and one is going to be plus. That's the idea. So we are accelerating. And that guy is pushing down, which is the opposite of what we want, right? So that means... So if that guy is pushing down and my guy is pushing up, that means that if I go at 90 degrees, right, and I start to foil, even if I have my automatic camera, first of all, we are struggling to, to, to foil. We are struggling to foil because the automatic sail is try to to keep my angle down but you can see that the the boat is coming up because now we have the rather differential backwards so that's good so let's go on the other side so let's go on this side and now we should be able to accelerate fast and here we go And, and we're falling already. So that's already a signal that this thing is working. Uh, <laughs> it's working even too well. <laughs> I think five degrees is too much. Look at this. Literally flying. 52. Right, so it's obvious that this has a huge effect on the boat speed. You know, we, we're way above what we were able to do before. Boat is quite under, you know, out of control. It's very difficult to fill up. Right. So now I have my rudder pushing down, my starboard right rudder pushing me down in the water. As soon as I lose it, boom. The boat capsize. So 
Let's see this replay. Can I see it from outside? Without the the debug, yeah. But we should see the moment when the four yeah. <laughs> it's so obvious. As soon let me get the right angle for as soon the that rather get out of the water, boom, look how the boat is accelerating and eventually capsizing. It's, a, it's accelerating the capsizing moment. Okay, there, there is an obvious like bang, boom, and it's gone. Right. So running rather differential will indeed make you faster, but that's the danger. That's the danger. So that's super cool. And so this could be absolute. which basically means we as expect a minus one to one to plus one. So it's, it's, it's obvious here, right? To, let's call it relative, automatic. Uh, Directional, directional, right? We expect a zero to one value automatically applied. Right, something like this. I have to say that the more I work on um, ACC in C++, the more I love Rust every time I come back. It's just, it's just so amazing. It's just so amazing. It's so expressive compared to C++. You know, I can do this thing. It's just maps so well to the way I think about things. It's, it's really clicking. I'm really getting into the, I'm really getting <laughs> into the Rust is awesome band camp. Band camp? <laughs> camp? <laughs> band camp. <laughs> this pirates and there is also the the orca there, there was this absolutely incredible news of this uh, group of orca i don't know what's the english name to call a group of orca but a group of orcas um or otherwise known as killer whales that were uh, attacking uh, boats in the south of spain so they were literally ramming into the boats and some boats even got spun around, spin around. Um, they are waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we are buying the boat and the fucking gorkas. The, the theory is that, you know, they're very smart animals. So the theory is that probably uh, this is limited to one group. And the theory is that probably something happened one time they hit a boat and maybe some fish fell some fishing boat or something and they think that every time they hit a boat a fish will is it working on the right side did, did they get left and right correct of course i could go down and try to make sense of the code or i can start it and if it is wrong i will invert it so let's see Let's see how fast, uh, how, how lucky I was. Yes. Yeah, okay, so it's the opposite. So in boat, uh, the place where we do the rather differential thing, starboard is minus P. Oops. Uh, let's try again.
this is something that I was really it really doesn't I think very similar to to cars right um, it doesn't really come out in the game is on the boat I mean the boat accelerating from six knots to to eight knots on the boat is incredibly obvious like you you just feel it and and the noise increases the noise of the water increases and here we are we, we are we are going down at 52 all right let me slow down this thing and let's see if if it works on the other side so it works on this side hopefully it works on the other side so now the rudder differential should switch modes so we open the wings and off we go this does it i mean if if you keep it loud now the the increase in volume was obvious especially one when the boat is in the water definitely take a lot more sail power look at that look at my sail power which is the blue line you know i'm going 54 knots which is impossible but yeah. we we know that the, the the game doesn't have cavitation yet so you know what probably the best way to try this is with the ai because the ai will still have zero we still have zero rudder differential, right? And I usually lose badly with the eye. But now I use rudder differential. Let's see. And I should be obviously faster than them. And actually the, the difference really surprise, surprises me. But with all the mess that we did, let's see, I think we're still way ahead than the AI, which really proves that the rudder differential is a enormous advantage. Look how ahead we are. Just because you know, we can go at crazy speeds. Whoa! But it becomes really difficult, it's really twitchy. So we got this done. Let me start to have an idea of how this thing will work. The idea is everybody, you know, will be able to create up to 10 um, setups. And then, for example, with the keyboard or something with a control, we could activate. Okay, so let's see if this works, and then I will add the the debug uh, the debug text somehow. Right. So rather differential is zero, and then I press one, and it's still zero, and I press two, and it becomes zero point three. It's four and it becomes one. Ha ah, ah. ha! Ah, ah. All right. Uh, I had that function to add messages on the screen. Yeah, there you go. So, one set up, accelerate to foil, apply. Set up, downwind, apply. Set up, upwind, apply. Cool. So, in theory, with this, I should be able to accelerate faster. Mm -hmm. 
get on on the foils get over here okay and now I can apply this one Hopefully, go faster. Then go back to this one. Turn. And apply this one. See, I'm faster. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Okay. Then I remove this so I can maneuver here in peace. Maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. There. a little bit turn okay and then apply the tree oh shit wrong key oops okay then apply the tree oh my god look at that Of, of rather differential. Ah! Ah! What happened? What happened? Panic. What the fuck happened? This is so weird to get a crash like this. Panic. Out of bounds. Image map. That's interesting. Give me 512. Mm. Uh, in this TV. Crash with um, image map out of bound. It's the first time we see it that we driving around with this thing quite a while so it's obviously is is a is a it's quite a bitch this one i totally want to know there is there i want to okay let let let's the ai pass because i want to really see how faster i am with the with the rather differential thing <coughs> Come on, let's go get it. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> Jesus, 37. I, re I really need to slow down this boat. 40. <laughs> We're doing 40 knots. I really need to slow down this boat. <laughs> With the rather differential now, it just became insanely fast.
still way ahead. Uh, he is. And off we go to the victory. I think it's the first time that I beat the AI. <laughs> Obviously, if I if I give to the AI also the rather differential, the AI will beat me again. But it's nice to win. It won't it won't stop the time because the bug of the first mark. But I I have a feeling that Jax didn't like <laughs> the food. Where is the eye? Look at that. So behind, man. You're so behind. Well, we end up the, the week with the victory. I put some details on the on the helm. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. And the bottom. Did you put the nipple? Yeah, yeah, look at the nipple. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Only one. Ah, actually, there's all, there's two, no? Also Only on one the nipple. Other. Well, there is the, the one on the other side. <laughs> 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 yeah, and also these buttons. Nice. And then this one, I don't know if I have to if the shape is like this or more circular it's I easy would, to make it circular yeah yeah I, I think it's it's cool if it is more circle unwrap this yeah and hopefully next week finish the week uh with the boats in the yeah, game i'm trying to do this one Paul. oh that's 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 cute although yeah yeah i'm still not <laughs> no idea i just started <laughs> they have something like that but it's cool anyway uh i have to put it right here for the for the rope for the main sail to connect definitely no third person view no 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 what is that for the camera at the back yeah yeah stefano hates that <laughs> that camera view and in this game it will be such a huge advantage that nope <laughs> will crew be added later on yes that's uh, that's that's the plan yes is to have a crew in front now how complex we are going to be able to make it i oh don't know oh my god you mean i have to animate po? i have to learn animation i have to animate the, the yeah. crew yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's going to be well i think the you know the you know the grinding yeah and the helm maybe is not that complicated it's the running part no it's the running that is very difficult like the the crew has to move from this yeah. side to the other side yeah. yeah and that that could be something that maybe we don't do i mean it's an independent game after all <laughs> with a custom engine i mean yeah, I'm thinking to work we on this We cannot treat this it as a, as a triple A. Huh? This afternoon, I'm thinking to, to continue working on this and add the ropes and the what? Yeah. You know, the wires? Yeah, the cables. But I'm gonna, the cables, but I'm gonna do it in, in Blender. I'm gonna learn Blender. Right. Oh, the, the, the bone systems to to animate the, the, the sails, so the jib. And, and the sales those those will come first and that that will mean the implementation of you know skin shader i might i might go for a slightly different approach than in assetto corsa because in assetto corsa i had uh, i had all this done in the vertex shader but I might go with a technique called GPU skinning, which use a compute shader to, to bake the vertices. And the advantage is that you do it once and then you're going to reuse the thing for um, all the passes. So every shadow pass, every 
um, you know, the final pass and so on. That's the first advantage. And the, the, the second advantage is that I don't have to have a, like either a copy of the shader, one for the skinned and one for the non-skinned um, materials, right? Um, so that looks like an interesting technique. Also, I never used the compute shaders, so it's, it's going to be interesting to try instead of going straight into the same implementation as Assetto Corsa. Cool mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so we, we will see you guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys uh, on Monday. And uh, remember also, I will be online next week, uh, Tuesday and Thursday with uh, the working on a Certo Corsa Competizione uh, Artificial Intelligence. Have a great weekend, everybody from Stefano, Chucks, and the cats that I don't know where they are. See you next time. Bye ciao, ciao. guys, bye bye.